Navigating Quill as a student is very simple. First you want to go to Login, enter your username provided by your teacher and your password, and your profile will come up. You can see at the top your progress. These are the lessons that a student has already completed. The green means that they did very well, the yellow means they struggled a little, and the red means they struggled significantly and should redo the lesson. Gray blocks tell you that these lessons are unfinished. Um, a student may have started them and not completed them, or maybe they have not started them at all. You also see the due dates and then the Common Core standards above. If you scroll down, you can see your assigned lessons and your completed lessons. Your completed lessons, you may retry as many times as you want or as many times as your teacher would like you to. And you see the due dates above each. And your assigned lessons, you just click on the start lesson under each due date. Okay, so let's go into uh, use singular, singular and plural nouns with matching verbs in basic sentences. This is an example of passage proofreading. So the directions are at the top. There are eight verbs that do not agree with their subjects. To make edits, click on a word and type your changes. So it's very self-explanatory. So what you would do is you would read down through the passage and anywhere that you felt should be an edit, you would enter it in. Once you have entered all of your proofreading marks, and if you look, there was eight, so you should have went through and found eight verbs, and I'm just gonna click the check answers for you so you can see if you do not get them correct, it highlights them for you. Now, you didn't find any errors, so then it went through and told you what each word was and their noun and verb agreement. Based on your performance, the quill will now create a lesson customized for you. and it takes you to sing singular and plural nouns. It gives you the lesson, and then it has you rewrite the sentence using the proper form of the verb. So, for example, and you must type all words correctly, check answer, try again. So Miriam rushes to her train. So it gives you two chances to get the answer correct, and then you move on to the next. Check your answer, continue. So they want you to try again, go back, crop jizz, add your ES, check your answer, okay, and then your score, great job, you had a 66%, return to your lessons, and now you can see that it gave you a yellow, since you had uh, two out of three correct. So again, you may go back and choose to retry that lesson, but this is here as a quick reference for you and your teacher to see how you're progressing. And that is all I have for the student tutorial. Good luck, and this is a great resource for you to use to practice your Common Core standards in grammar and writing.